David, when you get hit in the face, don't get emotional. Get smart. This is not an emotional game. The game of basketball is the game of the act. The worst decisions you'll ever make in your life is when you're making them when you're in an emotional state of mind. Okay? It should make you smart to compete. Right? You get dumb, you try to come back and dunk on somebody, play it smart. Get him, get him four or five plays later when he's sleeping. Okay? These, these, these little things I want you to learn. The big thing that you have to do now is bring a hand, foul line extended, rub shoulders, run them into the screen to make, to force big little. Chris Paul ain't no bigger than you. But he can run you into a screen, he'll force big little. He got DeAndre and Blake going on either side of the way, not now, but last year. That's what he's famous for. He gets in the lane, forces Big Little, he'll back up. What the big man lack? Lateral mobility, then he takes you off the dribble. Or if the guy is slipping, then he has that pass up and down. Simple basketball. Let me ask you a question. Who plays video games here? Who plays video games? Who plays video games? Anybody plays video games? 2K, 2K, whatever, right? 2K, whatever. Let me ask you a question. If I says I have a million dollars, right, and you are 2K master, right? Let's think about it like this. And you know that this team, you know that if you play with this team, 99, 95% of the time you're going to win. Are you going to play the game? You're not putting up no money. Hold the ball. You're not putting up no money. So the point I'm trying to make is you're going to play, right? And then there's a specific player that you know if you do the same move over and over again, you're going to score. You're gonna use that same move, right? It's no different in basketball. No different. This is your bread and butter. When all those breaks down, I don't care who's coaching, pick your roll. Force big little. No big man should get the guard you, Johnny. Just like big man, if a little guy's in there on you, that little house, barbecue chicken or whatever they said down there, kill him. He too small. This is, it's a mindset. Another thing, clear out one side. There should not be a pick and roll on one side and a guy in the corner. That's bad spacing. You want the defense to be able to cover more ground. Cover more ground. Yo, go through, yo, yo, come here, pick right here. Go through to create spacing so you can force Big Little, get the defense to collapse, then you exploit. Those other three guys look to die. It's a string. The game of basketball is a string. The ball move, you move. You gotta have this in your game now. Learn it while you're young. Other countries are learning it while they're young. You start to see more and more uh, people overseas getting drafted, right? People you never even heard of. I'm telling you, man, this is the game of basketball. And when I say pick up, you gotta have that ball move. David, sometimes, I, I love you to death. This is one of the hardest kids I've ever seen in my life. I've seen him like four o'clock in the morning with dad, four o'clock in the afternoon, every single day. It's like unbelievable. And there's, a, and there's a reason why you're going to UCLA, and you deserve to be going to UCLA. But there's times, David, you see a guy that you may be a little bit better than. You play that, uh, whatever. Get in him. Because remember, you may be the man this year. I'm not gonna initially walk in with the red carpet and you say, hey, I'm being blunt with you because I love y'all. Every single one of y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all some things that y'all may not wanna hear. Alright? You're not gonna wanna hear this. So, I'm the coach. Hey, David, can knock that open shot? He got that dog on D. Pick up full court. He's gonna turn me. One of the most influential people in my life, personally, I don't know if y'all what y'all know about me, my little cousin. We came out here, we came out here. He's trying out for the Lakers. I'll never forget it. He's, he's nonchalant, just came back from Greece, you know. He's on the layup line, and I'm sitting with all these Lakers scouts. This is a true story. Guy goes, oh, he goes to the roster, and I'm sitting there going, I'm talking. He goes, oh, Smush Parker? He said, oh, he's, like, he's even on this summer league team. I was like, what? What? Stood up in the stands in Long Beach and said, listen, the home is too full. I was like, let these people know. I 
I ain't saying that term right, I'm saying my own term, but let these people know. Then he start windmilling, going crazy on that line, they're like, hmm. Then he play to like the two minutes left in the first half. First play. First play, snuck it on the kid, kid took the ball out, guy took the ball out, passed the ball in, Smush came right underneath. They got the point guard took the ball up in the full court, Smush picked his pocket. He, did, he wasn't, there was no communication. So now the guy, Hakeem Ward, who just came, who just checked the, uh, passed the ball, the, the inbound play, Smith took one dribble, came underneath, boom, and win there. It was like, oh! But it wasn't even about the dunk, that was amazing. The, the opposing team's bench, including the coaching staff, was all like, ooh! Point I'm trying to make to you is, you're gonna have to do something that's going to excite the crowd and make those coaches play you, and it's through defense. They said he's lucky to be a mixed team. Don't let them go get the ball past half court. Not calling out no names. There was, there was like eight plays in a row. Smush did not let that guy get the ball past half court. We took my NBA summer league. Pick this pocket, pick this pocket, pick this pocket. Create your own offense. You gotta earn it. Ain't nothing gonna be given out here. There's no, there's no red carpets in this game. Especially at the next level. Third game, you come out, scoring like 15, 16 points a game, coming off the bench. Come after the game, hey, one in the same court. He goes, oh, James, uh, we, we always go eat after the game. He goes, oh, some guy named Mitch Kupchak wants to talk to him. I'm like, who, 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 Mitch Kupchak? I'm like, oh, whatever. Get the address, we go. El Segundo, walked in his office, I was like, oh, God, this is the guy. Turned him into vet camp. Got invited to vet camp, became a staff member of the Lakers for two years. You ain't never heard about Smush until he earned it. Don't let him get the ball past half court. That's what's going to get you y'all checks. Create your own offense. Don't rely on the coach to call a play for you. That's your play. I took his, I took his, I took his cookies. And the more times you can make an offensive player turn, the more tired he's going to get. It's a mind game. That's why you gotta develop your body, develop your mind, so you can play that defense. This is what basketball is about. Nothing is given. You guys gotta continuously work your game. This was a good session. But you have to continuously focus on what you're not doing right and work on it. Because at the end of the day, I'm a college coach. My number one priority is save my job. How am I gonna save my job? By doubles. And I'm only gonna give the best players a scholarship to save my job. It's a business. Good job today, guys. Let's go. Hey, yo, really good today. Listen, thank God nobody got injured. Got better today. Let's continuously build on, and uh, maybe we'll go back next next Sunday. All right, you ready? One, three, one, two, three, together. One, two, three, together. Yeah. Good job, guys. Oh, oh, guys, 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 guys. There's no maids in here. There's a whole bunch of little waters. Right there, right there. Right there.